how we can find the reason of the problem we have one simple solution look at here assume that we are sending the uh, icmp echo request with another source for example i am going to send the icmp echo request with the source of other ip other interfaces ip address 10.0.0.1 with this source ip okay if the pc1 can answer to the router one with icmp echo reply this means that the computer one has a default correct default gateway why you know that now the we, when we are sending a traffic from 1001 10.0.0.1 to the 190 to 160 the c1 can understand that the source is residing in the outside of its network because of difference in the network address and if the c1 doesn't have the correct default gateway it cannot answer and because of that we can find the reason of the problem related to the default gateway but if this c1 can answer this means that the default gateway and also ip addressing doesn't have any problem now we have a solution but how we can send traffic with another source than the outgoing ip address you know that by default when you are using ping command okay the source ip is the ip address of the outgoing interface such as this blue icmp echo request how we can send one icmp echo request with another ip address okay than the outgoing uh, for example interface ip address this is the function of the extended ping command let me to show you uh, until now we have used only the ping command now i am going to talk about the extended ping with extended ping you can uh, modify the features of the ping for example let me to show you in the rotor one this is the rotor one now we have connectivity with normal ping this is the normal ping you can use the standard ping uh, from both of the modes of the privilege mode and also uh, the uh, for example user mode ping 192.160.110 we have a normal ping in both in uh, the of the user mode and also privilege mode but if you want to use the uh, extended ping it is necessary to sending extended ping from the privilege mode how you need to type only ping that's it look at here ping after that ping is using which protocol you know it here we are using ip but maybe in future you are using the ipv6 if you enter this is the default the ip is accepted or maybe you want to type ip that's it target ip address is 192.168.110 you know that we are sending this extended ping uh, to the 192.168.110 okay this is the target ip address repeat count in ios by default we are sending five icmp echo requests and we expect to receiving five icmp echo reply because of that, the repeat count default is five let me to use the same repeat count let me to enter then datagram size each uh, ping size each icmp echo size uh, icmp packet size has uh, for example 100 byte here we can see this but you can change it it is not important for us in this scenario let me to accept it timeout is two seconds again it's okay extended command yes we need extended commands let me to use y y means please show me the extended features extended commands source address or interface look at here you know that we want to send icmp echo request with the ip address of the 10.0.0.1 now you can use here from this option we add for sending the icmp echo request with another source you for example you can write uh, you type here 10.0.0.1 or maybe you want to uh, type the interface name facet 10.0.1 means please use the ip address of the facet 10.0.1 let me use 10.0.0.1 that's it also here we have some another options these info options are not important for us because of that let me to enter look at here look at here then then as you can see now the rotor one trying to send traffic with the source ip of the 192 one uh, uh, 10001 uh, and it sent but the road the c, c uh, for example one cannot answer let me to show you the simulation mode with uh, for better understanding this is the edit filter icmp look at here when you are using the normal ping command ping 
192.168.110, okay? This is the normal ping with the source IP of the outgoing interface. Source IP is the 192.168.11. Because of that, we can send traffic and also we are receiving the reply. This is not suitable for troubleshooting of this scenario. We can use the extended ping. Look at here, ping again. Then protocol is IP, target IP, 192.168.110. And then repeat count is 5 is OK. Datagram size is 100, it's OK. Timeout in 2 is in second, 2 is 2, is, it's OK. Extended command, yes. And the source IP should be 10.0.0.1. That's it. Look at here. That uh, all of the other options is not important, are not important for us. Now we are sending another ICMP echo request, but now the source IP is 10.0.0.1. You know that this traffic can reach to PC1, okay? But the PC1 cannot answer. Why? Because we didn't configure the default gateway. Because of that, you can you can easily guess that may be the problem related to the default gateway configuration in the PC1. Why? Because we have connectivity okay, to the PC1 internally in this network. This means that the switch is working good and we don't have any problem here. But the problem related to the, IP, to the default gateway because we can send the IP address of the PC1 uh, and this means that the IP address is correct, but because the PC1 cannot answer to add to the outside network, this means this is related to the default gateway. As you can see, with extended ping, we can easily find the source of the problem or we can limit the reasons of the problem. Now we learn about the one of the uh, functions of the extended ping. Let me to show you another problem first. Let me to uh, correct the PC1 default gateway IP address here. The default gateway IP address is 192.168.11. And after this, you can now use the ping command. And uh, now we have connectivity. Look at here, enable, then ping. After that, IP, target IP is 192.168.110, repeat count is 5, it's OK, datagram size 100 bytes, it's OK, timeout in second, uh, 2 seconds, it's OK, uh, we need extended commands, and the source address or interface is the 10.0.0.1, if you want, you can use faster than 0.1, OK, look at here, after, uh, for example, some second, we will see that we have connectivity, because now we don't have any a uh, uh, problem about the uh, for example default gateway now pc1 as you can see has the connectivity to the pc2 now let me to show you another problem for example assume that again we are receiving one report about the a kind of connectivity problem between the C1 and, for example, C2 or one IP in this network. And uh, let me to remove one of the static routes. For example, in the router one, okay, this is the router one. I am going to remove one of the static routes. You know that in the router one, we configured one static route for the 192.168.2.0 network. I'm going to use no statement and then the, after that, this command, copy and paste. Now we don't have any any route for the uh, for example 192.162.0 slash 24 in the router one actually in the router one now the routing table include this table include these entries okay because of that it is obvious that when the c1 is uh, trying to send traffic to the c2 cannot send because assume that the c1 trying a uh, traffic from the 192.168 uh, for example 110 as the source type uh, with to destination of 192.168.210 and when this uh, packet is receiving to the rotor one rotor one doesn't have any uh, pass for this destination it should send one icmp destination host unreachable with the type 3 and code 1 uh, from the 192.168.11 to the 192.168.110 this means that we don't have a pass okay but the user of computer doesn't know about the uh, reason of the problem because 
in all times we don't use the ICMP for sending traffic to C2. For example, the computer one trying to send the file to C2 and the computer one user doesn't know anything about the network. Because of that, now the computer one only report that I don't have connectivity to this network, to 190, to 160, 20. Look at here. Now again, if you try to send traffic, for example here, the, this is the router one, okay? If, and this is the PC one. Again, I'm going to send traffic to the 190 to 168 210. As you can 